the man known as the exponential entrepreneur has surely gone quite a long way. From a simple office with the old desktop computer and a spray-painted logo to a colossal global venture that is now worth more than $1.5 trillion. Business magnate Jeff Bezos, who is known for being the founder, CEO, and president of the multinational technology company Amazon, has reshaped the consumer experience, offering hundreds of millions of products and the ability and willingness to compete aggressively on price, which has led to the huge scale of operations that is known more as the modern Amazon era. The man behind Amazon has transformed his company into what it is today and with it society's notion of consumer behavior and practice as well. But this isn't just what Bezos intends to reshape, as he intends to further his innovations and influence. It's the transformation of the planet and its population for the future as well. In this video, we're taking a look at Jeff Bezos' vision for future cities. The Amazon we know today is far beyond the online purchase place of ebooks, music, and videos when it started selling in 1994. It has since become the world's largest online marketplace and is by far the world's largest internet company when it comes to revenue. Through technological innovation and its massive scale of operations, Amazon has solidified its market share and provides almost all consumer needs for the general public, which it distributes through its numerous network facilities or fulfillment centers around the world. The tech company that started with e-commerce, cloud computing, digital streaming now also focuses on furthering artificial intelligence development. All of these has made Jeff Bezos a ridiculous amount of money. Breaking the amount down, Bezos makes $321 million a day, $13.4 million an hour, $222,884 a minute, and $3,715 a second in 2020. Overall, Jeff Bezos is reportedly worth $194.1 billion and is likely to be the world's first trillionaire by the year 2026. This amount of growth, not only for his company, but for his personal value, drives the industrialists towards planning for the future. And despite the uncertain times that we face, especially during these times where cities and states face the daunting task of trying to reopen business in general, there are variables that requires much preparation and planning, which Bezos is seemingly facing head-on. The Future According to Bezos, the future will be a place for much-needed change. Quote, In 10 years, many things will evolve. Technology will change. Machine learning technology in particular will evolve very significantly. End quote. While Jeff Bezos is an emerging futurist, he is and has primarily been an industrialist. His growth and the growth of his ideas rely heavily on the businesses he develops. Bezos is centered on a customer-driven service creed that is also the company's obsession. And although the overall impact of Amazon towards small to medium enterprises remains debatable, it continues to function with the target of moving towards the future through innovations and technology. Basing from the model that Amazon has implemented towards its own means of operation, integrating the latest tech and achieving seamless and efficient modes of product logistics, the future is already here. Currently, the manner of logistics taken on by the company is unlike any other, with logistics being the primary activity in a buy and sell environment. During Amazon's early beginnings, Bezos would pack books and items personally with his team down on the floor and hand deliver them to the post office. Now items arrive at your doorstep in one to two days or through the quick and easy Amazon Now service, which allows you to acquire your items in just two hours. Being the top company when it comes to a global e-commerce, Amazon has developed and capitalized its means of acquiring items and sending them out to the different distribution centers around the world. Amazon has its own delivery system, with cargo ships always on the move from production points like in China and the US, passed on to company semi-trucks and down to up to 20,000 delivery vans around the country. It also has an expanding fleet of 50 planes called Amazon Air, adding to the logistics array of the company. Products then end up at Amazon Fulfillment Centers, which hold most of the inventory and process orders throughout the world. These fulfillment centers are made up of state-of-the-art technology that receive, sort, and send out ordered items. Amazon also supports more than 1 million employees around the world, with up to 100,000 automated robots in sorting and shipping package centers. Once orders are prepped for delivery, they are then forward to delivery stations, which use delivery providers for fast shipping. Amazon also uses its own transport service, the Amazon Flex, to supplement its quick delivery servicing. Flex is also Amazon's answer to Uber, 
as a rideshare opportunity and courier service that allows drivers to get paid to deliver packages from their own vehicles. And despite the quick delivery service offered by Amazon's logistic services, innovations have ushered a much faster way for people to get their packages by way of air delivery with the use of Amazon drones. Amazon Prime Air can cut down delivery time to 30 minutes as it uses drones that can deliver packages under 5 pounds within a 15-mile radius in 30 minutes or less. Although this particular drone delivery service is still certainly in development and is dependent on regulations of different locations, in December of 2016, Amazon successfully delivered a Prime Air parcel to Cambridge, England, where a Prime Air Fulfillment Center is located. And with most fulfillment centers being located outside of cities, Amazon intends to create the Flying Warehouse, a blimp that can fly closer to delivery areas, allowing drones to float down with packages, saving time and energy. Another concept in line with cities of the future that Amazon intends to achieve is the use of city streetlights that can double as docking station for Amazon drones. Drones can recharge their batteries and deliver packages through a trapdoor located on street level. One other popular concept from Amazon is the Beehive, which are converted fulfillment centers located in the downtown areas. These tall structures will have open sides where drones can fly in to pick up the packages to be delivered and immediately fly out to deliver them. It's not that far along to see this concept, where a tall Amazon Beehive building can be seen in downtown areas all over the world, where packages are sorted inside using automated robots, while drones can come in for pickup and deliveries, and retail stores are located on the street level, allowing people to experience premium and instant retail purchases or do groceries at the downtown Amazon Fresh. Amazon has patented the beehive-like structure concept that would serve to directly deliver to houses and residential units within the city. Another prime air drone delivery service that is also in development is the use of fully autonomous vehicles, eliminating the primary cost of delivery, being that of human drivers. Integrated Tech in Retail One thing that Amazon has broken the mold of is the way we buy certain products, whether it's online or in the real world. From suggestive items on your homepage, from consumer feedback that can guide you on your purchases, Amazon has added very useful tech features in providing consumers an easier customer experience way beyond the usual window shopping practice. This innovation has led to most marketplaces online to use the same format, and it's become the industry standard. Amazon has also integrated the latest tech in actual physical retail stores, from pickup centers to Amazon bookstores, Amazon four-star stores that sell highly rated products you can find online, up to 500 Whole Foods stores, Amazon Go stores that feature no cashiers or lines and uses sensors and cameras to register your purchases as you leave while taking payment from your Amazon account. This particular Just Walk Out technology is a glimpse of how retail will be done in the future especially in light of recent scenarios where contactless, non-interaction payments become the new norm. Outer Space In 2019, Jeff Bezos unveiled his sweeping vision for humanity while introducing his new rocket company, Blue Origin. Outlining his plan to pave the way to space for future generations, he has also expressed his intention of using the resources of space to save the Earth. And while Bezos and Blue Origin may sound familiar to another tech industrialist billionaire, Talking about Elon Musk and SpaceX, Bezos believes in saving the Earth, saying there's no plan B for the planet, just other alternatives. While Musk wants to transfer to Mars and make humanity a multi-planet species, Blue Origin has developed reusable rockets with the intention of using these to send a robotic space cargo carrier and lander called Blue Moon to the moon. It's basically a cargo delivery system that is literally out of this world. The lander is planned to be capable of delivering 4,500 kilograms to the surface of the moon with a planned mission for 2024, which could support NASA activities towards a lunar base. Bezos also claimed the presentation that the answer to humanity's finite resource problem isn't living on other planets or the moon, but instead on artificial worlds or colonies in space known as O'Neill cylinders. These free-floating cylindrical space colonies can hold up to 1 million humans living in each cylinder built with space resources, which would be climate-controlled, housing cities, farms, artificial mountains, and beaches. Although this is pretty far-flung into the future, Bezos has said that the challenge for the present generation is to build the road to space that could one day lead to further space activity in the near future. If there's one thing the richest man in the world can achieve, it's laying the ground to making the future exist in reality today. He does, after all, have all the resources at his disposal. And at this point, time is his only adversary. 
So what do you think about Jeff Bezos' vision for future cities? Let us know in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell.